hello wordpress nerds so in this video we are going to talk about um, adding a custom endpoint for the wordpress rest api so um, we are going to create a custom rest api which will get some result so which result we will be displaying in our custom api so um so uh, i have this custom post type called books over here <coughs> and i will i will get those books which is added by acf form and how do we consider that particular book is added by acf form so if I show you in the database, I will go to the post meta table and I will search for the key ACF submission, something like this. So yeah, so which post has this meta key is considered as submitted from the uh, ACF form so we will get this book in our API result which has this meta key so um, let's jump into the code and in order to add custom endpoint or API we have to use this function register rest root so I'm gonna continue adding my code into sorry into this file custom api.php and as I said in my previous video that as this is the rest api functions we should add this inside rest api init action so I have already created one action <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that so I'm gonna use this function over here to create a new custom API and the first parameter is namespace so I'm gonna call it my plugin slash v1 so it is generally a slug of your custom plugin so my custom plugin folder name is my plugin so I'm adding that as my plugin and this is the first API version 1 so I'm adding that v1 then this then add the root so I'm gonna call it um, ACF books then third parameter is uh, array so by which method you want to have um, books so when we get any data uh, from the database method should be get and when we store any data to the database then the method should be post so here I'm um, we are fetching the data from the database so I'm adding method as get method and uh, let's say I want to give a name for a callback function is VWP ACF books get ACF books and I'm gonna create this function outside this REST API init action so I'm gonna create this function and 
this function receives this parameter which is our API request and as of now I'm going to return a simple text so that I can check our API is working or not so I'm gonna open postman and I'm going to add a new API which is from this site then WP JSON so this is the default WordPress root and so after WP JSON namespace should be written and if you don't know this rule I would suggest to watch my first video in this playlist and then come back again otherwise keep watching this video and then the ACF book let's try to send it so method is get and yeah how we have written test over here so we are getting that inside the response but uh, first let me show you what we get in the request and I will switch to raw and send so we will get this whole object over here sorry about that Do not disturb still I'm getting notification that's weird so yeah this is all about so if I pass any parameter test one two three we will get that parameter inside this argument somewhere so as you can see whatever the parameter you pass you will get it inside this object like this so how do we get this parameter over here so for that first let me make some meaningful parameter over here so let me take meta key and we will use this pass this meta key and we will use this meta key inside that function so in order to get this parameter you can use this request objects method called get param and you have to pass this key over here and now if you echo this meta key you will get this result ACF submission as you can see so now I'm gonna <coughs> write up oh, sorry we need this I'm gonna write WP query over here post type is the book let me confirm yes it's a book so I'm gonna add it book post status publish post per page 10 then meta query array inside another array and then the key will be 
what we are getting from the argument and let's try to pass the value as well from the argument so let's see value meta value equals to 1 so meta value So now we are passing this both parameter via it. the para parameters. Th so we can use this value, this meta value. And here we don't need this. books ACF books equal to posts and let's try to pass this uh, return this and uh, let's see if we get proper result or not send it let's switch to pretty and as you can see the id is 1015 let's confirm one is 1015 other one is 1014 we are getting only two results 1021 is not getting let's try to see what's the problem with this one zero two it's not the book post type that's why we are not getting it yes so the Mahabharata by API is not book so only two books are there <coughs> this is the post post type so that's why we are want to get only IDs in the API result so we can use fields parameter IDs and let's see what happens so we are getting only IDs into the API but let's not add this now um, let's say we don't get any result over here so I'm gonna add if this is empty we get empty result ACF books then I'm gonna send an error so I will return WP JSON send JSON error and will pass no data found otherwise we will send WP JSON success 
and in the success we will pass this result so now let's try to refresh this again and try to see the response so we are getting this success true because we are sending wp send json success and into the data we are getting our result now let's try to get an empty result so i'm gonna change this value over here and we know there is no such data so as you can see success is false and the data is no data found which we return over here so this is how the basic of um, custom rest api in our next video we will start adding more functionalities to the custom api so this is just a basic um, it's not a hundred percent but this gives you an idea of how to create custom apis so yeah if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching the video guys